the Win and my name's Leco Games IRL, and today we're continuing on with the Wolf Among Us. In the last episode, I actually thought I fucked up. Um, I thought I made bad decisions, but I'm not sure if I did or not. But Mr. Toad remembered what I said to him about going to see a witch or some shit like that. And that wood guy, when I literally kicked his ass and two of us got flung out the window and he got an axe bird in his head, I actually thought I killed somebody in the first fucking episode. But. Um, this prostitute, whoever she is, um, I kind of made friends with her. She said I was sweet and this bullshit, and yeah, I think it went rather well. I actually really enjoyed this game, and yeah, so I really, really want to play more. Um, yeah, so I'm recording this one back to back to the first one. Hopefully, I might get a couple because I just don't want to stop playing it. It's a fucking addiction at this stage, and yeah, let's continue on with this shit, man. Boom, resume, come on. Episode 1 Fate. Wolf is walking down the street. Oh yeah. Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. It's late. What do I do? I go on this way. Where do I go? Do I go in here? Yes. I need to I need to I need to there we go. <laughs> I couldn't remember the button. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. It's pretty freaking cool. Ooh. Someone's hiding. I say this is a decision. Come on out. Come on out. All right. All right. Oh damn, she's hot. Really. <laughs> Hello, Big B. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this Why looks did you a little hide? odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. I know what he's thinking. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Beauty and the Beast. He worries ah, too gonna... much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. I'm staying out of it. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will. But I have to go. Okay. That's pretty good. Cool. Later, girl. It's not what you might be thinking. Well, I don't know what is that about. But anyway, we'll find out later. As she said. Come on, we'll find your apartment, man. I know you want to go to your apartment. to sleep in the job again. I do. I need a snoop. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go here. Let's check this locker out. Been a while since I got any mail. Let's open it. Seventh day in a row. Okay, got no mail. What's this? Woodland building. Okay, I see it. Okay, I need to go this the elevator. Okay, use this. 
My knuckles are still bruised from the fight though. That's pretty fucking cool. Look at my knuckles. So this is coming down. This is actually freaking good. I like it. Alright, go into the elevator. Go into bed, man. It's beast. Big B. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Haven't seen her. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Oh shit, I like him. Damn it. Something's going on. Shit, I should have said I'm staying out of this, to be honest. My bad. But, you know, I said I'm staying out of it, and if it lied to him and said her I'd stay out of it, I'm kind of keeping the peace. Fuck, this game is like, relies on me a lot. Jesus Christ, I had a brain fart there. Big B's apartment, Fable Town. Big B. <sighs> what a night. I know, right? You see a guy with an axe in the back of his head? Like, what more do you need? Not only you gotta go eat, man, so let's go eat. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> the freezer? Let's open the freezer. Just ice. Ice, ice, baby. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. So, I want to starve. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to check fucking... I'm gonna do it this way. It's easier. Bluebeard's file. Yeah, Bluebeard. What's wrong with Blackbeard? Never trusted this guy. Okay, I think we should go to bed now, man. Well, how do I go to bed? Is it this way? What do we do? Oh, it's turn the air conditioning and the fan. Food. 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 Don't even remember ordering that. <laughs> Probably a bad sign. There's someone sleeping. I can hear someone snore. Let's go this way. And oh, it's my pig. This. Huh. Hey, Big B. A talking pig. What more do you need? I'm in your chair, huh? I've only, only got the one. So, yeah. Oh, he's mad. You mad, bro? That is very nice, too. And. Got a smoke? I picked the smokes. I want to see this. Thanks. I may go visit a witch. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. Oh, fuck. It's not complicated, Colin. Sorry. Lectured by the sorry. big bad wolf. He must have loved that. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. 
Shit, sorry it also that, would have shown everyone how different you are now. Take a sip, man. Nice. I take it all back. This is why Boss. everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. My job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. I use a bit of a you think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. There is a girl. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Beauty, beauty. I'm sorry. Beauty, I take it back. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long Fuck. fucking time. Joe's the wrong one. I was going I to know you like this whole <laughs> lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, Snow maybe White. if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Sure. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <laughs> give Colin a drink. Because I feel bad about being a dick. Thanks, Big B. Get some shut eye, Wolf. Shit, I should have said beauty, man. Fuck. Right. Cool. Who's there? I'm not home. I have to go answer, don't I? What the fuck do you want? Open the door. Ooh, fix your time, man. Big B! Ooh, Snow. Come with me. It's Snow. If I am banging her, I am one lucky son of a bitch. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Shit, shit, shit. What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's Ron Weasley. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay, girl. It's all good. Sounds good to me. What the frick's that?
It's an investigation. So, it's all this. Somebody talk. God damn. What's going on with this? Fuck. You knew this girl? I haven't even got her name. Is, she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fake Town. A working girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Oh. <laughs> I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. God. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. What happened? So, tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble? Yeah. And I opened the door, and I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Hey, it was another investigation Hippie. of murder. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Ooh, who's dead? I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She is a good girl. So, let's inspect this. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? An axe. Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Let's check this. There's something in her mouth. What is? What? This. Close her look. It's her ribbon. Ooh. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Oh, it's the ring. Okay, we got this. We got a ring. Now we gotta have a look up here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? The woodsman. It's Woody. It has to be. It's a blood trail. So that's where she was dragged from. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. You're fine, girl. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? Investigate more, please. We piece. still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Come on, Wolf. Look, there's blood. There's fucking blood. Can I investigate that? No. No, I have to keep walking. Oh, I can now. What? Yeah, fucking... What's going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, blood trail. No, it's only a blood trail. That's why I can't do nothing with it. Is this something? Oh, I've got to do it. What's this? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell much. Doesn't tell me much. Trash can. Just look inside trash can. Is there anything in here? There's some loose trash. Blood, is it? What is it? Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Let's look at this again. Yep. 
More blood. Someone might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. So, they've gone through the alleyway, so let's go back. Can I go this way? No, I have to go back. Right, so let's go talk to Snow. Um, this one? No. Hey, Snow. You alright? Pause. Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. This one. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Okay, we, okay, that's pretty much it, because I think I've done a good bit, so there was the half defense. Let me walk down this way just to see if I missed anything. No. Better be safe than sorry if you ask me. Nobody there. This uh No one here? No, yeah, maybe. Nope. Let's head back inside. No, I'll go down this way. I'm sorry guys, I just have to check this shit out. Just to see if I missed anything. Can't walk anymore, so yeah, I think I've done enough for this one. Okay, let's head back inside. This one. Where are you going? Are we done? I have a feeling that I missed something. Uh, no, not yet. It's just one of those feelings, guys, and I don't know. Let me go back to that fence again, because I think I'm missing something. No, with the windows. Blood in the ground. It's only a blood trail. Uh, I know that's a trash can. I know that has some blood in it, but I can't get past this shit. Alright, I think I'm done. Because I've done all I can. I'm not sure if I missed anything, but I'm actually can't do a whole lot more because I'm after going through a lot of this place already. So let's go go back inside. Let's go inside. Done? Yes, I'm done. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. But Okay. We should move her before anyone shows up. I think I we'll find something. out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? This is a message. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The victim herself? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. Um, I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Do what you need I know to. you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Okay, girl. Got it. Right. Fuck. These guys look down. They're looking for a beatdown. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? 
Must be nice being the sheriff. I work do whatever here. the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. <laughs> My knee's stiffler. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running You're smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Town. It. Your failure to do dead. so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman, the woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Okay. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. <laughs> I will. He's a grumpy old bastard. But where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. He's such a knob jockey. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, <laughs> sir. Good girl, Snow. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Crane is an what asshole. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> oh. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thank you. Hey, monkey. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He's pretty cool. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. New books somewhere. Entries, things on them. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay, Hello. so guys, um, I'm going to pause this now, um, yeah, I'm actually enjoying today's episode, I'm after going for about a half an hour now, and yeah, I'm going to just cut this now and continue investigation to the next episode, and um, we met Crane, he's the biggest asshole in the world, um, I don't like him, but anyways, he's just an asshole, um, we found that once head, I should have got her name, to be honest with you. But at least I was nice to her when she got a beat down with Woody. Then I beat him down, we fell out with window, etc. But 
Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this game, as I said in the last episode. Um, I just don't want to stop playing it. It's so freaking fun, like, in my opinion. Um, we've seen this little flying monkey that looks awesome, and we met Snow for the first time. Um, as the pig said, uh, my my guy Big B in the game um, fancies the fuck out of um, Snow, and yeah, I haven't seen any, any signs of that. But they seem to be very, very close by what I've seen. Right now, I have to actually investigate for stuff. Look around. I think it's just looking around, basically, while the monkey gets the fables. So that's pretty much all I can do today, as I don't want to drag this episode out longer than I should. I want to keep it interesting, etc. So, yeah, guys. So if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button like a boss. Make sure you follow my Facebook and Twitter page. Link me in the description below. Slama Karja, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!